If you want to make 300 mm 3D printer, then you can use all the components that I will show you. And also, if you want to make 200 mm 3D printer, then you can use all the components, but you will just have to decrease the size of this aluminium profiles. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So recently I posted a video of DIY 3D printer and mostly people were asking me that I should make a video on components of 3D printer that I am using in this printer. So I was making this 300mm 3D printer. So if you want to make 300mm 3D printer then you can use all the components that I will show you. And also if you want to make 200mm 3D printer then you can use all the components but you will just have to decrease the size of this aluminium profiles. So let's start with the aluminium profiles. So I am using 2020 and 2040 aluminium profiles in this 3D printer. This is the only 2040 profile that I am using in Y axis and it has the length of 500 mm. And these 2020 aluminium profiles 1, 2 and 3. These 3 profiles have 400 mm length 1, 2 and 3. These 3 profiles have 450 mm and 1, 2. These 2 profiles have 150 mm size so if you want to make 200 mm then you will have to decrease the size of these profiles accordingly now let's talk about the gantries that i am using in this printer so these are the gantries that are custom designed and if you want to purchase in pakistan then you can contact me and if you are from another country so you can ask me for the files of these gantries so that you can make them by yourself so this is x-axis gantry, these two gantries are for z-axis, these two plates are for the pulleys to hold the belt and these two plates are the 90 degree plate for the joining of aluminium profiles and this is y gantry plate. Now let me show you that how we will connect these gantries on 3D printer. So as you can see here this is x gantry plate, we will use 3 POM wheels two on the upper side and one on the lower side and this is Y gantry plate so we will use four POM wheels two on the each side and these wheels are the POM V wheels these are the Z axis gantries one and two and three wheels on each gantry two on the outer side and one in the inner side and also we are using eccentric and non-eccentric spacers we are using one eccentric spacer on each side so that we can tight or loose the tires to move it freely. And these are the plates to hold the pulleys for belt. This is the 90 degree plate as you can see here to connect the aluminum profiles with each other on 90 degree angle. And if we talk about motors as you can see this is x axis motor that is y axis motor and we have two motors on z axis both are parallelly connect with each other so as you can see here these motors are parallelly connected so that we can use one port for z axis this is extruder motor with mk8 extruder kit and if we talk about 3d prints then these are the prints for the x axis gantry as you can see here these are the 3d prints that we will use on x axis gantry to hold the hot end and this is end stop here and this 3d print will be used to stop the end stop on y axis we have placed end stop here as you can see here and on z axis we have placed the and stop here these four prints are for the base of this 3d printer or you can say feet of the 3d printer and these two are for the z axis or you can say brass nut holders so that screw will move up and downward this is for the z axis motor and this is the holder for the screw rod on the z axis and after that this 3d print is for the end stop and this is part cooling fan 3d print and after that 
this 3D print will be used on the heat bed to hold the screw. So this is the heat bed that I am going to use in this 3D printer. It has 310 mm size and it is compatible with 24 volt. As you can see here these 3D prints I used on this heat bed with Elfi. This is the thermistor and here you can see the wiring of this heat bed. So after that this is 24 volt 15 ampere power supply and this is RAM board with Arduino Mega. As you can see here this is the normal RAM board and you can see the difference between them. This is for 24 volt and this is for 12 volt. This is normal RAM board that we can purchase from any shop and if you want to make it into 24 volt then you can watch my previous video in which I explained that how you can convert 12 volt RAM board into 24 volt. So after that you are going to need RepRap LCD. It is RepRap 2004 LCD and this is MKS heat bed expansion. As we have converted into 24 volt, so we cannot connect directly heat bed with this RAM board because it will draw too much current and it will melt down the RAM board. So we do not want that. So we will connect heat bed with the heat bed expansion. So it will draw current directly from power supply and this wire will just give the signal to RAM board so that we can take the reading on LCD. Here you can see the Z axis. This is screw rod holder and this is brass nut holder and this is the motor mount and this is 5 to 8 coupler to hold the screw rod with the NEMA 17 motor. So as both motors are parallelly connected so both will move in the same direction. And to set the belt on the x-axis gantry you can use inches screw and zip tile to hold the belt on gantry. Similarly on y-axis gantry has already the place for the belt you just have to insert it and tie with the zip tie this is the end stop that we are using in this 3d printer you can use any other end stop if you have you may be wondering about part cooling fan so we will use this 3d print to connect part cooling fan here as you can see we will connect this 3d print here and part cooling fan will be connected here so I think I have explained all the components for this 3D printer. I will make another video after joining these components and also I will show you the video of firmware for this 3D printer. So if you have any further question you can ask me in comment section or you can contact me on whatsapp. For more videos and information about 3D printing stay connected and hit the bell icon and subscribe button. Thank you.